Welcome everyone to the Automated Robotic Art Studio, where our massively underpaid and underfed AIs have been working for the past two days to create artworks within mere minutes. Who needs years of skill and effort learning art where you can just tell a robot to create a painting for you? Today we'll see how a neural network can take images like these and turn them into masterful paintings without even knowing the basics of art. Take a look at how beautiful these transformations really are. These results were achieved using a technique called style transfer. But before we do that, we're going to have to learn how neural networks can actually see and recognize images. The most common neural network used for image recognition tasks is the convolutional neural network. Let's say I wanted to make a CNN used for recognizing handwritten digits. This visualization over here shows us how a convolutional neural network would actually look at that image. The layers at the bottom represent more simplistic features of the image, such as edges or corners. As you go higher up the layers, the neural network can use the features that it's learned from the lower levels to generate more complex representations of our image. This means we can start detecting things like the circles in an 8, or even the straight edges of a 4. Horizontally, we see a couple different forms of the image which are the results of scanning filters across the whole image to see if a certain type of pattern is detected. Going along with that general theme of increasing complexity, we see that the lower layers look for things like edges or corners, and then the higher layers use those corners to see if any larger shapes can be detected. The last part about CNNs is that they are able to preserve the relative location of certain parts of an image. Armed with this knowledge, we can use CNNs in our style transfer purposes. Style transfer uses two images that serve as guides for generating that one final image. The first image is a content image, which tells the neural network what to draw and where to draw it. The second serves as a style guide, which tells the neural network what patterns to use when it's rendering that image. In general, we use realistic photographs as our content images, and then artists created paintings as our style guides. But how exactly can we recreate images out of those guides? Let's start by looking at the content image. We want to have our neural network reconstruct the image using only partial information. Logically, if something were to match that content image, it would have the same activations inside of our convolutional neural network. Let's say our content image is a picture of a house, and we're trying to recreate that image using some of the higher level activations of our convolutional neural network. We'll have to use high-level information, like the certain position of a window, or a door being in another place, to recreate our image. If we use those high-level activations to slowly tune our image, we can generate an image that looks quite similar to the original image we had. While it might not recreate our image perfectly, hopefully it will retain some of the more important parts of the image. The way we represent style is actually quite similar. For an artist, their style might be their specific choice of brush strokes and colors, regardless of what content that they're painting. A neural network might look at an artist's image and see what patterns occur frequently together throughout the image. This is done by comparing the activations of different filters across the whole image and seeing which ones fire together. For example, our network might recognize that Van Gogh paints swirly patterns when painting yellow objects. It might not know that those are stars or suns, but it still recognizes those patterns as something in the style. When generating a style-based image, the neural network will repeat the patterns it's seen in a texture-like fashion. Using style transfer can actually be quite trivial if you know how content and style reconstruction work. Instead of telling our network to only optimize for style or content, we can tell it to jointly consider both images, 
creating an image that should generate the style of one image and capture the content of the other. If we wanted to, we could tell our network to emphasize either style or content unequally. This way we can finally tune our image just the way that we want it. To finish off this video, I'll leave you with some examples that I found really cool of style transfer in practice. But if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I liked creating it, I encourage you to subscribe because I'll be making more of these types of video in the future about AI and coding. You can also check out my other video on my channel where I made an AI generate Jeopardy questions. If you enjoyed this video, I'll link to the original paper about style transfer in the description. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.